Hello, and welcome to the second episode of Jessica Fletcher Live. Last time on... Tell them who I am. Yeah, they, they know. They, they, they know who you are. Last time on the show, I promised... This is absurd. My name is Jessica Fletcher, and I live in Cabot Cove, Maine. Last time on the show, I prom... You see? It's me. Last time on the show, I promised I'd be asking Jessica a few of those questions which um, a lot of you have been writing in asking about. Let's talk about your late husband, Frank. Now there is a man to be reckoned with. He certainly <laughs> was. Would you say you had a happy marriage? I really liked him. Oh, of course you did. We all did. He died, didn't he? Well, well, yes, he did. Tragically, that's um, why I refer to him as your late husband. How exactly did Frank come to pass away? It's the why that may surprise you. Well, in that case, why? Why did he? Because the date of the murder was already set. Who on earth would want to do that to Frank? Well, let's just say he was expressing an opinion. What does that mean? You know, what, 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 am, I, what, what am I supposed to take from that? It makes me nervous. It made me nervous, and it still does. Frankly. Hmm. What about sex? Sorry, Paul. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You misunderstand me. I was wondering if it wouldn't be too presumptuous to ask you a few questions about your sex life. It started at a deserted beach. Ooh, I'm going to stop you there, Jess. That's, um, that's just a little too much information. What I was driving at was, obviously, you, uh, you still get a lot of attention. Most of it is unsolicited. Oh, of course. Of course it is. I, I, I wouldn't for a moment suggest that you're cheaping yourself with a fling. Well, on the other hand, people do seem to enjoy it. But not you, presumably? Oh, not true. I like to think that you're never too old. <laughs> oh, so you, you still... Well, my marigolds are hardly going to seed. Oh, what a colourful euphemism. Diane... The last time you... Well, I have a sore back and my shins are killing me. Other than that, it was wonderful. Oh, that... that's... that's... that's, uh, that's great, Jess. That's... well done. <laughs> I put my hands up. I was... Um, I was out of my depth with Jess on that one. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting to the point where I don't know if I can carry on on my own with this. Um. So, your first novel, The Corpse Danced at Midnight, it shot you straight out of obscurity, right to the top of the bestsellers list. How did you come up with such an amazing concept? It was written many years ago by one of my high school students. So, sorry, for... Did you just say you copied it from one of your students? Yes. Right, you should probably keep quiet about that. Yes, that's what my agent tells me. Yeah, that's, that's sound advice. I'm not, I'm not scared about it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scared. I'm, I'm wary. I'm wary. I really need some help. So if you or anyone you know has a similar sort of connection to Jess that I have, please uh, get in touch and maybe you could help out with the show. We may even be able to offer some small incentive. Just a stab. Uh, probably half a million dollars. Well, probably, probably not. Not that much. Two thousand dollars cash. Well, I, I was thinking, um, like a card, or chocolate, you know. Oh, that's very generous. 
I'm afraid that's about all we've got time for this episode, but I know Jess and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. <laughs> Do 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 do